Good morning. It's Sunday, August 21st, 2022, and this is Cafe Devo. Coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church right here in the heart of beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out as I usually do with my pal Bugsy. <laughs> there he is in the corner. And I hope your Sunday is going well and that you're preparing for worship today. We here at First Congregational Church invite you to join us in person we're saving you a seat. Worship starts at 10 a.m. If you can't be here in person, connect with us through the live stream. It goes up a few minutes before 10 a.m. So you can work out any technical glitches that you might have. Hey, before we get started with today's devotion, we do want to send out birthday wishes to one of the ladies of our congregation. Hey, Bailey Dutran, it's your birthday. <laughs> All of us at First Congregational Church wish you a happy birthday, Bailey. And all together now, happy, happy birthday! birthday! Once again, we return to the book Truth for Life. It was written by Pastor Alistair Begg. It's copyright 2021. The Good Book Company, Philippians, chapter 1, verses 21 through 24. To me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. Yet which I shall choose, I cannot tell. I am hard-pressed between the two. My desire is to part, be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary on your account. Do you remember visiting family when you were a child? Perhaps some visits were met with dread because the person you were visiting was not someone you felt close to or warmed to. But then there are the special visits with those you really loved. Maybe you were greeted at their door with a hug or the smell of freshly baked cookies. You couldn't wait to see them. They were precious to you and you look forward to being in their presence. For the Apostle Paul, Jesus was such a person. Paul was joyful, even while imprisoned, because of what Christ meant to him. He looked forward to the prospect of being ushered into his presence. Jesus was his all in all. Can you and I say the same about Jesus? Or is our joy earthly, fixed on temporal matters like our marriages? our children, our livelihoods, or our influence. If all that thrills your soul and all that forms your identity is wrapped up in worldly matters, then being with Jesus loses its allure. So we would be wise to remember that our identity is found in Him, because one day everything else will be left behind. You may have heard of someone being so heavenly minded that they're no earthly use. Well, we can also be so earthly-minded that we're no heavenly use. Sometimes we are tempted to want things like perfect health or an end to sorrow and life without any uncertainty right now. The reality is that we are going to lose loved ones, receive dreadful hospital reports, or face disappointment and disaster. But that is all part of the now. Paul's dilemma in his letter was balancing the now with the next. Although he desired to depart, it was not so that he could escape his current circumstances. He endured many difficult trials, but for him, heaven was not simply relief from earthly suffering. He was not shuffling off life to embrace death. He longed to be with Jesus because he knew it would be fantastic. Living faithfully in the present while anticipating the reality of being with Jesus is something we all need to work on. Paul recognized that while he still drew breath, he was to continue steadfastly in his earthly ministry until Jesus called him home to heaven. So spend some moments considering Christ in all his loving perfections. Then spend some time enjoying the great truth that one day you will see him as he welcomes you into his glory. Then reflect on the truth that the doorway to that moment is death. This is your future. 
one day it will be your present. And until then, you can do what Paul did and live all in for Christ, knowing that death will only be gain. For more on this, check out the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. Now, Father, once again, we come before you as your children, and we're grateful for the day you've given us. Thank you for the Sunday that lies before us. Bless it. Use it. Redeem it for your purpose and guide us. We're grateful for the privilege of worship. May we all take advantage of that privilege today, Lord, and worship you in a way that is pleasing to you. Bless us, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that'll do it for us on this Sunday edition of Cafe Devo. As I said earlier, we certainly want to invite all of you to join us at First Congregational Church. We want you to join us in person because there is no substitute and we're saving you a seat. (laughs) If you can't join us in person, connect with us through the live stream. Uh, Either way, let's worship together. This is the Lord's Day. For now, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.